Hey everyone, welcome back and happy, what is today? Friday, happy Friday. Guys, welcome back to Up and Adam channel two. Obviously we have lots to talk about, lots to discuss or else we wouldn't be here. And that's exactly what we plan on doing. Looks like there's trouble in paradise, which I've said to you guys multiple times. And now this seems to prove it more and more, unless you guys think differently of it. And I would love to hear your opinions. So we're gonna get back into the Vanderpump Rules realm of it all because well, things are happening with Shorts and Sandys and also Jax Taylor and Luke Broderick, who we have not yet met unless you listen to Kristen Doty's podcast, but that is her newest sure man, but new to us because we're going to be seeing him for the first time on our Bravo TV screens. Smash that like button, show some love. Let's jump right in. Okay, guys, so first we have to get into the Tom Schwartz and Tom Sandoval, Schwartz and Sandys of it all. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but thank you. Thank you to Reality T. Schwartz and Sandys menu slashed as Scandoval fallout causes business woes. Um, I want to know more about this. Despite all the ways that Tom Sandoval profited off of Scandoval, his co-owned restaurant, Schwartz and Sandy's, has taken a hit. Even Tom Schwartz has seen the writing on the wall. Now, after Tom's cheating scandal on Vanderpump Rules Season 10, it only made sense that Schwartz and Sandy's would lose business. Who would want to eat at a restaurant that would profit Tom so directly? Now, recently, reports came out confirming that Sandoval would be stepping back to be more of a silent partner in the bar, but even that strategy appears to have failed. Hmm. Somebody wrote, To be honest, I would rather go to Katie and Ariana's sandwich shop mm, than a bar called Shorts and Sandy's. On March 13th, the U.S. Sun reported on recent changes in the Shorts and Sandy's menu. The outlet showed pictures comparing the old, well-designed menu and the new, more straightforward menu. The old menu featured a palm tree background with five sections, appetizers, cocktails, salads, wines, and entrees. The new menu is divided into two sections, drinks and dining. The specialty cocktails went down from eight to four, with the current drinks listed as the Fresh Start, Windy Peppercorn, Midnight Madagascar, and Arugula Awakening. As for appetizers, the Mushroom Gruyere beignets were removed from the menu, and Reality Tea actually recently visited, and the drinks weren't bad is what they said. The updated menu fe did feature a new dessert, the Strawberry Shorts Cake, an insider told The Sun that the menu changes took place earlier this year, and as for what other sources had to say, one could confirm that, well, they don't think that anything's going to happen and they're closing anytime soon. However, another one confirmed the business has been extremely slow and there's no way that they're going to be able to pay the rent and keep the place open. The source reported that there were less than 10 people in the bar between the hours of 10 p.m. to midnight on March 9th, the night before the Oscars. Granted, this insider also reported Tuesdays were more popular with the Toms hosting Vanderpump Rules viewing parties. So which one is it? I mean, also, probably smart of them to host these viewing parties just because it makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense, the viewing parties. Now, speaking of the viewing parties, and I know that this is... Now, I don't know if you guys have seen him. His name is Luke Broderick. This is obviously Lisa Vanderpump, but I was going to bring this up first, but I'm just going to bring up a photo of Luke. That way we can see exactly who I'm talking about. This is Kristen Doty's new man. This is Luke Broderick. Here we go. Right? So apparently Jax Taylor and Luke, they have a spat on the valley with a, can we be friends? Now, drama is already happening on the new spinoff called The Valley, and the show will feature, obviously, Jax Taylor, Brittany Cartwright, Kristen Doty, her boyfriend, Luke Broderick. But although Kristen's relationships with her co-stars seem pretty solid, her partner is having a tough time trying to fit into the group. Now, in a sneak peek for the new series, which airs next week on Bravo, the boys, including additional castmates, Jason, Danny, Jesse, seem to have a tense moment while out golfing when Luke asks Jax about being blocked by him on Instagram. Here we go. After a few swings with their clubs, Luke looked over to Jax and asked him about his social media account. So Jax, am I still blocked? Is what he asked. 
And Jack said, huh? He said, am I still blocked or can we be friends? And Jack said, are you blocked? And Luke said, I don't know. I was at one point. And Jack said, you tell me. Let me see if you are and let me know and I'll do my best to unblock you. Which is obviously sarcasm at its finest. But it's still unclear what happened for Jax to block Luke. However, he's in good company because he's Jax known for taking things to the extreme. He's blocked both Tom Sandoval and Ariana Maddox over past drama, plus Kristen Doty. But in a confessional clip, Jesse referred to Luke as a side piece before admitting the word he was looking for was rebound. I think Luke's over his head with the boys. Jason explained he just met Luke about a year ago. At parties, sometimes we'll talk, and you know, he's a pretty introverted guy. Hmm. Well, Luke, let's see how it all pans out. Now, speaking of Vanderpump Rules, I know that there is one person that you guys all like hearing from, and there was something that was said on a recent episode that I wanted to address because Lala Kent said that she was going to be going back to her roots, uh, just give them and dropping the Lala, which I don't know how that's going back to roots, but she is doing a rebrand on her business. Now, I didn't necessarily understand what the hell she was talking about when she was saying, I'm doing a rebrand on the business. I'm like, what is the rebrand? Name them, name them, name them, name them. But we didn't get any names. So here is Lala Kent sharing, and then we're going to dissect it. Thank you to Byway Hello Drama. Mention, um, and I know, you know, there will be more coming out about this, picture, but you mentioned the brand stuff. Oh, of course, it's not going to play right now. Come on. You mentioned, um, and I know, you know, there will be more coming out oh, about okay. this in the future, but you mentioned. Just to kind of give you guys a heads up on what she was saying. Let me bring a photo back up. To give you guys a heads up on what she was saying, she was pretty much saying that she doesn't think that she wants to continue on with Give Them Lala. She wants to change it up. She wants to do something different. And I agree with her. I think that doing something different would be really smart. I think that doing something different makes a lot of sense. And also, she's trying to do this because she wants to grow her business. She wants it to mature. She wants to do something that makes sense for her moving forward that she can pass on to her daughter. I'm not mad at it. But between everything that we just talked about with the Schwartz and Sandy's menu being slashed, and honestly, guys, I don't know if you've worked in the hospitality industry, but that is not a good sign at all. I'll tell you that. But then also the Luke Broderick coming in and being the introverted one, which probably makes sense for his relationship because Chris and Doty is everything but introverted. And then... We have Lala Kent doing a rebrand, which I'm wondering if is also because she might think that she, one, needs to mature her business, but also who knows what the longevity of Vanderpump Rules is. There is a lot happening. Lots happening, lots to discuss, lots that I want to go over. So we will be back later. But in the meantime, I'm going to do a poll on Up and Adam Channel 2. If you guys did not check out our Hot Messy Topics today with Kim from Bravo and Breaking News, Go check that out. That was on the main channel. And then this weekend is St. Patty's Day, which I totally forgot. So happy St. Patty's Day weekend. I absolutely cannot wait. Unless it rains. And then that's going to be a shitstorm. Did I cover everything? I think so. Say bye, Mayday. She's like, bye, suckers. Okay, get off. Down, down. Love you guys.